What is the biggest waste of money that you've ever witnessed being spent? I watched some drunk ass wander up to a craps table in Vegas, plop down $7,500 in markers on a hard eight bet at the craps table, lose on the next roll, and walk away looking like he had no idea he just lost. Chances are that money may have been insignificant to him. I watched my buddy blow about $500 at a strip club one night. The saddest part was, he thought the dancer was really into him. She was into him, at least his pockets. Woman came into the 7-Eleven I work at, bought $1,700 worth of $20 scratch cards, scratched them all off, won about $100 back, complained how these things are rigged, and left. Well they are, that's how gambling works. An ex of mine bought a camper van on eBay for £2,000. He parked it on the street and within a week it had been towed. He never bothered to get it back again. $20 million on a SAP implementation that had to be scrapped. Oh god our company is going through this right now. I hope we don't end up scrapping it. My dad oversees various remodeling and construction. His company was doing a remodel of a woman's bathroom, and he was in charge of figuring out what materials she wanted to use. She immediately said, what is the most expensive type of tile? I want that. He said she didn't even care what color it was or what it looked like. It cost her 10 grand. I watched somebody bet on all the numbers in roulette. One of the dumbest things I've ever witnessed. My ex-girlfriend had an obsession with phone psychics. Not all at once. But over the course of a single year she spent over $15k getting life advice from multiple psychic lines. No one in her circle of family or friends could convince her to stop. I haven't spoken with her in a few years but I wouldn't be surprised if she's still wasting her money on them. I had a friend with that problem too. Her issue was with a real live psychic who would make crap up and need money to make her charms and protections against evil. It was weird. I work for a cell phone provider in North America and have seen some pretty outrageous purchases but by far the worst was a pregnant woman, 6 months pregnant, come in and buy two 64GB iPhone 5S's with two cell phone plans that were more than $100 per month. At first I thought it was for her husband or something but then she tells me I am not an iPhone person but my cyclic tells me that these two bundles of joy in me are, so please keep the boxes sealed, we want them to open them when they are born. She was buying iPhones for her unborn children and wanted to give the phones to them as presents for being born. You know, if I felt the compulsion to do something like this, I would at least have the decency to be embarrassed about it. What I don't get is these people who just flippantly announce their stupidity. I witnessed someone spend their one and only inheritance of 250k dollars in less than a year, invested none of it, knew he would too. As an IT guy, it boggles my mind how many hundreds of thousands of dollars companies will shell out for software that clearly overlaps with something they already own but aren't utilizing, only to turn around shelve the software for years without even using it to its full potential. At work, I was given a $100 budget to find a program to make flowcharts. I wrote up a tutorial on how to make flowcharts in Excel, which we already had, and asked for the $100. They never gave me the $100. My former boss was putting in a backyard patio. She and her husband went to Home Depot in their jagger to buy some bricks for the patio. While there, they realized they didn't want to bring the bricks home in their jag. They walked across the street to, to a Toyota dealer and bought an FJ Cruiser so they could bring their bricks home. They had no intention or need to buy a car. Oh, yeah, they put the entire vehicle purchase on a credit card, and they kept the vehicle. Home Depot rents trucks for like $20 hour. Not on the same scale as some of these but, my father one went to Costco to buy A batteries. He spent $500 and forgot the batteries. We don't let him go to Costco alone anymore. My sister was visiting with her boyfriend and kids a couple years ago and I went shopping with them. We were in a mall for less than an hour and I watched her blow $2000 in 3 stores, about $1500 on clothing for herself and $500 on clothing for her 2 kids. She completely emptied out their joint account, leaving no money for their remaining few days, without even batting an eye. 
She and I ended up having a falling out over it because her boyfriend had been asking for this $50 personalized hat since they flew in and by the end of that hour, there was no money left to get it for him, and he made the majority of their money. Also, more recently, she spent over $1000 renting out an entire club on a Friday night for her best friend's birthday, with food, and something like 8 people showed up. Being as frugal as I am, it's been difficult for me to listen to her stories of all the things she's bought for her and her friends when she can't even pay her bills and is constantly calling our parents for money. My brother got a $4,000 tax return. He has two kids and lives with our parents. Instead of spending the money on like 7 months rent, he spent over $3,000 in parts on his Plymouth Nyan, body kit, turbocharger, intercooler and rims on a 20 year old piece of crap car, he just recently totaled it because he drives like an butthole, oh and he will be 31 years old next month. I'll never ever understand why people spend that kind of money modifying crappy cars rather than buying better ones in the first place, okay, I kind of understand, but it's stupid behavior. I used to work in a high end electronics store. You guys think Monster Cable is a rip? I've sold people thousands of dollars worth of cables. The worst example I can think of is a guy that wanted high end speaker cable for his rear channel speakers in a surround sound system. I think they wound up at $1000 for each speaker. Total we're talking about over $5k in cables. And those 10k plus had me cables that market themselves delivering better video quality, and they're not even full silver, just gold plated. Digital cables have no difference as long as the packages are delivered. Remember this guys. In Scandinavia, mostly Sweden, we have something called vasking. It's when you pay the bartender to pour a bottle of champagne in the sink just to show how wealthy you are. It's widely considered to be a butthole move. But I saw this one douchebag do it with a $2000 bottle to impress some bimbos with great success. I wanted to fedora whip the crap out of him. I would be impressed if he bought the bottle, gave a glass to the girl, and the rest to other patrons who he didn't even know. That would be so much cooler than wasting it. Was part of a company meeting for low level managers at a famous golf resort. The thing easily cost $250k. Can't imagine what they paid for the big boys. They're willing to write the check for these kinds of things because it's considered giving back. Plus it's better than paying straight salary much of the time, because these things get written off as expenses, which employees don't get taxed for. I went down to the Atlantis resort in the Bahamas a few years back, which itself was a waste of money. Someone bought a pair of regular rubber flip flops for $65 at the gift shop. I saw someone once buy a first class ticket on Air France from Paris to London. The guy spent something like $2000 to fly 200 miles. Not to mention the fact that the Eurostar trains were directly below him, and would get him to downtown London in half the time as the plane. I wish I could just ride a train to another country, comma it seems awesome. My ex-girlfriend made a lot of life decisions based on a psychic she knows in her home country. Apparently, her family have been consulting this woman for decades. This psychic knows her family so well, that she can basically make lucky guesses, or just do cold readings which her family then fits into their situation somehow. Usual psychic stuff. When we broke up, which wasn't the psychic's advice, but my common sense, her family prioritized consultations with this psychic as important an expenditure as buying food. I don't know how much they spent on seeing this woman, and I hope I never know. An acquaintance of mine received $350k for a work related accident that fricked up his body pretty good. He lives in a broken down trailer that smells like sewage, his wife drives a pose car and the kids have an old PC but mostly just spend time on the Xbox. As far as I know he's blown most of it on casinos, beer and drugs. I once worked in a small town that received huge amounts of money from the gas oil fields. They had classrooms filled with unopened computers. They had a state of the art auditorium. But nobody knew how to work any of the AV equipment so they just had two speakers hooked to a microphone. A friend of mine was a REE that worked in the oil field and when he saw what they were doing he volunteered to help them figure out the AV stuff. So at least they got some use out of that but a lot of things just sat and became obsolete while the students didn't learn anything because nobody knew how to use the stuff they spent the money on. Weird. 
My city is spending $140,000 to rename the local airport after a president who isn't from here, and probably never visited here, because a couple of local radio DJs started a petition. I'm just glad they worked out all the important problems first. My old town decided that, instead of holding a vote or right in competition to come up with a slogan, they would pay a professional marketing firm six figures to design a slogan custom to our unique values. They came up with ra ra, town name. Those three words cost us over $100k and became the slogan of a 100,000 plus person town. The cancellation of two gas-fired power plants to save votes in an election. This was at the cost of $1.1 billion to all taxpayers in Ontario. A former company I worked at spent $70,000 to hire a guy to come up with a mission statement. He worked for 6 months, and wrote a single sentence the size of a paragraph that was incomprehensible. Our brand presence serves the ever-reaching goals of values with customer presence and obsequious delineation from where the core beliefs are born into the service we provide for the external sequestration of greatness among those who apply. Business excellence. Something like that. Only about 4 times as long and with a lot of fancy punctuation. I always pictured the guy in a striped shirt, a mask, a black beret, and a huge bag over his shoulder labeled loot. What a crook. The whole day Barkle so outraged the stockholders that half the board of directors who approved the decision were fired. £200,000 on a pigeon. I know everyone has their hobbies but pigeon racing is beyond me. Those wristbands which were supposed to give you better balance. I was out with about 5 friends and 3 of them bought it. My buddy bought 40 of them for like $2 each online. He sold them all at school for $10 a piece. A 4K TV for their PS4. Come on, 1080 is barely possible on those and regular television is going to take at least another 5 years to get on that train. OMG I want that 4K TV. I want, I want. But I guess the only thing to watch would be that promo video they play on repeat on the floor model. I used to work at a place that did FedEx. One day, a woman comes in with a Costco size case of Kraft dinner. She wanted to ship it overnight to France because her grandchildren wanted KD but they didn't have any in France. So I'll look up the cost for her, and inform her it comes to dollar sign 2800. She just shrugged and said sure. I informed her it would probably be cheaper to catch a red eye to France and cook it for them herself. And she shrugged again and said but I have plans for supper tomorrow. Fernando Torres. A friend won 2500 euros in online poker and played immediately after it 15 times slot machine a 100 euro, without winning anything. Saw a guy put $2000 on a specific number on roulette, not black or red, on a specific number, if it had hit, he would have been $70 k richer, but of course it didn't, he didn't seem too pee about it though, so I guess he was loaded, he just walked away like it was no big deal. Dude, this happens literally all the time in Vegas. Hang around tables long enough and you'll see people put down the $70k instead of just $2000. I had a friend in college who was a student loan abuser. When we first met our sophomore year he had pretty much already worked his way through one loan at which point he had decided to completely switch his major and basically restart college. His immediate family members had such bad credit that nobody was able to co-sign on a second student loan until another friend's mom generously stepped in and signed. The first thing he did with his new loan was buy a nice car and I'm pretty sure he studied for another year before dropping out of college completely broke with no degree to show for it. Student loans ain't nothing to frick with. Crap I just feel sorry for the mom. I'm a roofing contractor and the company I work for has a customer who had us put on a $50,000 plus temporary asphalt shingle roof on his house while he and his wife decided on the what color slate they wanted for the permanent roof. All in all they spent over $200,000 on their roof in a few months because they couldn't decide on a color. Dollar draft night. Tons of vipers and good beer as well as your buds and cores for a dollar. Watch this kid order $3 PBR cans all night long. I saw a fella purchase a $120,000 bottle of champagne when I was in Hong Kong. Enough said really. Bottle service in a Vegas nightclub. You spend $1,000 for a bottle of vodka and some crappy mixers. Your cocktail server makes the drink suaru strong. 
to the point they're unenjoyable, just so you'll run out faster and order more. If you're a group of guys, you have hosts bringing girls over to drink up your alcohol and then leave when you run out. Nicotine gum addict ignored the dentist warning after having a 500 pound crown fitted. It came back out with the gum less than a day after being put in because they chewed gum on it. I used to play cards with a Russian guy who spent $7,000 on his gold plated Nokia. He was a weird and somewhat scary dude. His caller had came up as Tina Turner. No idea why. That's a great investment. I hear Nokia's last forever. Freaking Starbucks, man. I worked there briefly in a suburb of Chicago and couldn't believe how much money people would blow there on a regular, daily basis. It's one thing to treat yourself, it's one thing to grab your coffee every morning, it's a whole different animal when you, your husband and your kids are getting venti frappusinous every day, spending like $15 each time, on total garbage. I heard a lot of need my coffee, haha <laughs> but come on if you need your coffee, get a tall coffee for 1.35. Not some sugary garbage for 5.75. A kid in my English class has a $3,000 backpack. Don't ask me why. Thousands of dollars at a strip club. By a guy who really didn't have it to spend. Not like the guy was Mayweather. Oh, this guy in Paraguay in the middle of the street is selling 32 gigabytes cards for a 75% of the prices of the shops around. I'll better buy one for everyone in my family. Since they are so cheap and I can totally trust this guy I'll never see again. I live in Dubai. I regularly see this sort of thing. People spend millions on all sorts of things. Mobile phone numbers, license plate numbers, phone covers, etc. The United States military throwing money at contractors to do jobs that people in the military could do themselves. An acquaintance of mine tends bar. A couple came in on their anniversary and asked for the most expensive drink they had. He says a dom bomb, which isn't really a drink. He tells them it's a shot of Louis XIII dropped in dom. They say sure, at bar prices. This comes out to about $2100 or so for the two drinks. No complaints. Big crap this must have been disgusting. Not to mention the travesty of ruining two top shelf drinks. If you see this image while scrolling you have been visited by the fat beagle of cozy's comfy beds and good rests will come to you but only if you post stay plump Mr. Beagle. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.